In this video, we are going to learn how to use enumerate in Python. So what enumerate does is it returns a sequence of index and item or value tuples when looping over an object like a list. So we'll give an example of what that looks like. We have a list of characters here, and if we use enumerate on it, and then we'll pass that into the list function. It'll give us basically everything in our list, but also with the corresponding index. So we can see here we have the same things in the list, and it is also paired with the corresponding index. So at index 0 is Krillin, and index 1 is Goku, etc. So how this construction is most often used is when you want to loop through an object like a list with a for loop, you can actually use enumerate to get both the index and the object itself at the same time. So if we wanted to do that, we could say for index, comma, character in this case, because our list is a list of characters, in enumerate characters. So basically this index comma character is extracting the zero, the index, and the, for the first one anyway, the Krillin string that is extracting the, the two tuple into these two uh, identifiers. So then within the for loop on each iteration, we can use the index and the corresponding value. In this case, we're just going to print the index and the corresponding character to the screen. So it's gonna essentially amount to something quite similar to what we saw above. So you might be asking, why might you want to use enumerate? Well, there's any number of reasons you might want to get both the index and the value when you're using a for loop. One reason you might want to get both the index and the value over a for loop is if you need to store both of them in some way, or perhaps use one as a key to store the other in something like a dictionary. So in this example, we have a new list of characters, but there are various duplicates in here, like Goku appears several times. And what if we made wanted to make a dictionary where if each character is mapped to a list where the list is the index position of all of the occurrences of that character, because maybe we want to keep track of where that character exists in the list at every single position. So if we run this, we see what right now we have an empty dictionary with each of the characters, and each of them has an empty list. So one way we could populate each of these lists with the appropriate indices for that character is using enumerate. So here's an example of doing that. We'll say for index and character in enumerate characters. And then we're going to say character map character dot append index. So basically what that's doing is it's saying, okay, for this character through our for loop, we'll look it up in the dictionary and then just add whatever index we're currently at to the list for that character. So throughout this for loop, it'll populate all these empty lists in this dictionary with all of the indices where that character occurs. So when we run this, we see that our dictionary indeed has been populated for each character. All of the indices where that character appears is now stored in those corresponding lists. This is something you could do by initializing some counter variable and then incrementing it on every iteration of the loop, but using this enumerate construction is just a lot more convenient. So enumerate is a very useful construction that once you get used to using it, you'll probably be using it all the time. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.